Hey friends, so I have a treat for you today. My sister just moved to the most beautiful area, 20 minutes up the road. My boys absolutely love visiting Aunt Jessica's house now. It's just a place filled with adventure for them. Um, but her new home is just absolutely adorable. It's a little Cape Cod style home with a front porch and a couple of dormers. and. Um, her home was built in the 90s. It's not super old, but I thought it would be fun to show you what my sister has done with her home because oftentimes I get emails from you guys saying, you know, your home is older. It was built in the 30s. It's almost 100 years old. I have a newer home and I, I'm curious, how can I add character to my home? What can I do to it to give it that um, that that character and charm that I want it to have and so today I thought it would be fun to show you what my sister has done with her home and maybe that will give you some inspiration. Her style is very much different than mine but it's a lot of fun and I think that we can all walk away inspired and um, you know maybe uh, with some new ideas for our own homes. So um, this is my sister. She goes thrifting with me all the time. She actually uh, does a lot of work on my blog, a lot of the SEO. She's my um, VA and I do thrifting a lot for her. These are a couple of items I've picked up for my sister in videos with you guys while thrifting and antique shopping. And, um, and so I have helped her a little bit. I wouldn't say I've helped her a lot, but I've come over and done some decorating with her. But for the most part, Jess has done a lot of it on her own. Of course, we text each other all the time and she's asking for my opinion. But honestly, she has done really such a wonderful job with this cute little home of hers. So um, I just thought I would walk you through and give you a tour of her space. I had the opportunity to stay with her for um, a couple of days while Mike was at camp and we took some video. I'm not going to take you in through the front door though because the entrance they actually use more often is the side door. You can see they have a beautiful barn next to their home, but when you step into the side entrance, you step into a laundry space. And um, again, their home was built in the 90s, and so uh, they had these great oak cabinets, um, and Jessica wanted to keep those and try to use them. Uh, there's some wallpaper happening, and of course, uh, some vinyl flooring that they wanted to replace, but Jess went ahead and painted everything this gorgeous green color. I'll have to put it in the description below. I'm sure people are going to ask about this color. You can see she replaced all of the fixtures with brass, which I think adds so much character, and I believe this green color is a historic color as well. So the laundry room then leads into their beautiful kitchen and I'm going to share some before photos of that space with you in just a moment. All right guys, I hope you're enjoying my sister's house. I'm sure you are. It was so much fun staying with her. You know, it's kind of strange because for like the past 12 years, she has lived on the same block as me so we would go over to each other's houses all the time we'd go on walks early in the morning together it was like all the time last minute her girls would come to my house my boys would go to her house and so even though she's only 20 minutes away it feels so different <laughs> Anyways, it was nice to be able to stay at her house and she was so sweet and pampered me and told me to take a nap at one point and <laughs> she like took care of the little ones. Anyways, I know you guys are going to love the rest of her home. I can't wait for you to see it, but I thought that I would take a moment to tell you um, about something else I use all the time in order to pamper myself, and that is the Blooming Face Pro. You guys know, I have shared this with you so many times, I'm sure you are very familiar with it, but the Blooming Face Pro is one of my favorite beauty tools, and I use it, um, I try to use it for three minutes, three times a week, and that's the key. The key is consistency, um, but basically, I like to use the Blooming Face Pro after I apply, so I'll wash my face. I know I'm, I'm using it right now with makeup on, but typically I wash my face at night and then I will 
go ahead, let me switch hands here, I will go ahead and apply my serums, my moisturizers, and then I will use this in the evenings. Now, sometimes, every once in a while, I use it in the mornings as well, especially if I wake up and I just, you know, maybe I had too much sodium the day before or whatever, I feel like my face is kind of puffy, <laughs> then I will use it in the mornings after I apply my um, morning serums before putting on my makeup. And basically, the Blooming Face Pro, what it does, it uses, there are three different settings, and it uses microcurrent technology to help um, decrease puffiness in your face. It also helps with product penetration. Um, it helps to tighten your jawline. It also helps to decrease those fine lines. So I like to use it on my forehead especially because I have a really harsh line on my forehead. And I do notice a difference when I faithfully use the Blooming Face Pro. So. This beauty tool is, it feels so good <laughs> on my skin. I'm trying to use it right now on just one side of my face so that you guys can maybe see the difference after using it, but it's normally $150. And with my link below, if you check the description, you can get it for $70 off. Now, again, they only offer this to the first 100 people that click on that link, so you have to act fast. And not only that, um, you also get a free ebook called Face Tightening Secrets that will come with your purchase. So every few weeks, Blooming activates this code and it always sells out when they do, so you really wanna take advantage of it while it's available. And one thing that I love about the Blooming Face Pro is that they have a satisfaction guarantee. So if you don't notice a difference after using it, they will refund you your money. And I just think that speaks volumes about the product. So I really do enjoy using it. All right, I'm gonna stop for a second and kind of show you. Um, I've only been working on this side of the face and to me, it feels so much different on this side, but everything just feels slightly lifted and tighter and I feel like that puffiness has decreased. And I've only used it for a couple of minutes with you guys, but I really enjoy the Blooming Face Pro and I hope you will take advantage of this offer. Click on the description below and take advantage of my link so that you can get $70 off plus that free ebook, Face Tightening Secrets. I know you guys are gonna love it. So here is Jessica's kitchen before. We have a continuation of those same oak cabinets which Jessica wanted to keep, and of course the same flooring, but really overall a great space. And so um, really great bones, just great bones for a kitchen. And Jessica continued with that color all throughout the kitchen. She really wanted to put it on the ceiling as well, but decided not to. You can see that she also kept the windows white. She was really toying with the decision of whether or not to paint the windows as well. But I think that the green just adds so much character and really she likes to explain her style as like vintage moody or moody vintage. There's some touches of modern as well uh, but I, I think that it's okay not to put yourself into this box and say you know this is my style and I have to stay within this style it's okay to be eclectic and have a little bit of every sort of style and I think that Jessica's done a great job of that. You can see they replaced their countertops with butcher block and then Joey added a new backsplash and I think that this dark tile is really so beautiful in this space. You can see here uh, the brass fixtures, the, the faucet, the lighting, the uh, hardware on the cabinets just looks beautiful. And I don't have a ton of footage of the dining room before. Here are some photos of paint colors that Jessica was sending me um, before they decided to paint their home. Um, and of course the dining room leads into the living area. So here's another photo. It was very scary at first when she was trying to choose the right green color, but here's what it looks like today. So um, there's so much uh, in this space that I'm loving. I don't know if you guys noticed the curtains on the walls. She went with green curtains um, and they sort of blend into the walls, which I love. 
This little desk area is a lot of fun. Her husband is a hunter. Jessica also is a plant lady. <laughs> she loves plants. She has them all throughout her home and they really add so much life to this space and um, she's been the one that has really encouraged me over the years to incorporate more real plants throughout my home. Now this gorgeous desk was left here by the previous owners and Jessica was just so excited to be able to incorporate it into her home, especially this little uh, kitchen area. And then the dining space, uh, I don't know if you noticed, the corner cabinet there that she has filled with vintage books was my grandfather's. And so it's really neat that she was able to bring that into her new home. Um, but you can just see a, a mixture of styles here. There in the corner, she hung my uh, the paintings that I grabbed at that antique market. She told me specifically when I went that day to keep an eye out for artwork. And I found both of these. The gentleman there gave them to me for $20 for the pair. And they're from Europe and just they, they work perfectly in, in her dining space. So I love this view looking into the kitchen. My boys love to sit there at that little peninsula. My sister often sends me photos of them <laughs> whenever they spend the night. Um, but one thing that Jess has worked hard on is her book collection. She loves collecting old books. And I think really bringing in older pieces into your home uh, antiques, no matter what the style is that you have, pieces that tell a story, I think that really helps to add character and charm to a home. Now here's the only photo I have of her family room, her living room before, and here it is after. It's such a fun space. Jessica went with this really sort of bold light fixture, which adds so much character to the room. And then she brought in these green velvet sofas, which I thought were a lot of fun. The same curtains, of course, that were in the dining room. And then a splash of color on the floor with this like burgundy rug. Um, a lot of antiques are incorporated into the space and a lot of artwork. She loves to thrift for different artwork, which is a lot of fun whenever we go thrifting together because she spends a lot of time looking for art. And of course, I love artwork as well. And so we're always keeping an eye out for each other. I also love these two leather chairs that she brought into this space. And um, they really ground this space with all of the green. And in this far corner, she also has another piece that used to be my mom's, actually. It's just a little bit too primitive now for my mom's style. <laughs> my mom has a completely different style as well. And so does my younger sister, by the way. Um, so I have Jessica as my older sister and Catherine is my younger sister. Catherine has like a coastal uh, beach uh, decor in her house and it's beautiful we all are just so different um which i love and then you guys have seen of course my sister-in-law's house and my brother i helped them earlier this year and i have a video on my channel where i helped with their living room so we are all very different uh in our styles but i think that's just so much fun and um anyways here's a few more shots of jessica's living room area i love this corner with the artwork and and a lot of the pieces in her home are from facebook marketplace of course i told you she likes to go thrifting with me as well but she scores the best stuff on facebook marketplace and i cannot believe um this actually this print above her fireplace this beautiful uh, piece of artwork that came from facebook marketplace as well and i love the way that she styled the mantle with all of these books and uh, her plants she's really done such a wonderful job in this space and it's still a work of progress of course she's always tweaking and changing things and um overall though i think it's really headed in such a wonderful direction and um, i just love the way her style has sort of evolved over the years
So Jessica's home sort of flows in a circle, and as you exit the living room, you enter into the formal entryway, the front door area. So everything sort of uh, surrounds that main staircase. And you can see here, this is where she put that artwork that I thrifted for her, and I think it looks really great in uh, in this little area and one thing that we sort of decided on together she has another beautiful light fixture in this space as well is we took a collection of mirrors and we hung them all together on this wall which is kind of funny because her husband is very tall and my mom and i worked on this little collage and it, joey can't even see himself in any of these mirrors so he always <laughs> <laughs> makes a joke about that that we sort of hung them for our height and not his but anyways this little cabinet was one that i found on facebook marketplace and tried in my own house and it didn't end up working out and jessica said oh i'll take it i love it and so we have named it the cabinet of curiosities clara's cabinet of curiosities all of the little items that her daughters like to collect and find Jessica will put on display in here um, and I love this little sign that she's hung in her entry this was also my grandfather's uh, and I love it just looks so so good in her house above her door there so um, when you turn back around so when you walk into the front door and uh, this is kind of the first thing that you see is her living room space and um, it's just very warm and welcoming and I think that she um, has just really done a great job of adding a lot of charm and character um, to a newer home. And I hope that she's, you know, really inspired you guys. Uh, you can make such an impact with paint alone, with light fixtures, with um, older furniture items and antiques. Um, here's a little peek at the half bath also on the main floor. She painted it this beautiful blue color and switched out, just switched out some of the fixtures and it's already made such a difference. Of course, she has plans to do a few more things in this space, like switching out the vanity. But overall, I feel like Jess has done such a fabulous job and I just thought it would be fun to share her home with you guys and her style and I hope that it left you inspired and maybe gave you some ideas for your own home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.